Oh, a few technical difficulties this evening. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain here in Ireland today, so it always affects our internet. So hopefully that will keep going. I see a few numbers. Anybody want to say hello? Hi. We have music going on, Carol, so what? <laughs> hello, anybody out there? Are we live? Yeah, we are going. Oh, oh, great. Hello. Oh, thank you for saying hello. At least I know I'm not just talking to the camera myself. Oh, hi, Anna. <laughs> I have so much stuff to show you this evening, so it actually feels quite dark here. Hi, happy Sunday. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, hi Elaine, how are you? Oh, it's great. Great to see. Hi. Hi Kate. Oh, hi Rebecca. Oh, super. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Hopefully now our internet won't crash or anything. Oh, Sharon, you're amazing tuning in from New Zealand. It must be like the middle of the night. Hi from Alabama. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, thanks, everybody. Oh, great. We've loads of loads of faces already. This is super. Good evening, everybody. So, yeah, it's rained all day in Ireland today. So, um, yeah. So, oh, thanks to everybody who watched my August and September makes yesterday. I, I just got it in at the end of the month. So um, I was asking about the tights yesterday. So I got loads and loads of people telling me about the... Um, Hi, Leonie. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, loads and loads of people told me about the snag tights. I'd never actually heard about them before. So I mentioned in my video that I just hate tights. So I'm actually wearing tights this evening and they'll probably drive me crazy. But anyway, I have my order in for my snag tight, so I will let you all know. I didn't tell you about them or anything, Karis. <laughs> so I'll let you all know how I get on. So I did a bit of sewing today. I have, Karis, hop up and I show. I actually made Karis something this week. So <laughs> Karis is wearing a toaster sweater. So it's the, what is it at all? The, oh yeah, the Sew House 7 toaster sweater. Now, I made her the one with the polar neck, but she wasn't a fan. No, it so just wasn't my thing. It wasn't her thing, so we chopped it down and made just a round neck on it. So when we made one, we made a second one. So Keris loved this fabric when it first came in, and I managed to keep the last little bit to squeeze a sweatshirt out of it for her. Hi, Margaret. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you. So she has two new sweatshirts and I'm sure um, now that I know that it fits her and she likes it, I'm sure we'll be mass producing it again. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, great. That's your debut, so yes. Karis. <laughs> so I made Karis the extra small and um, it fits really, really nicely. So I think I might try making a few for myself as well. And then this morning I literally whipped up this dress and this is the Deer and Doe Arum arum dress so i showed this yeah it's lovely helen yeah i showed this in one of my plans and i think i picked this fabric so i'll just stand back and show you so it is what well, get my little stool so there we go it's the simplest simplest dress so the front is all in one piece and on the back there is shaping down the back so it kind of brings it in a little bit but it's got a grown on sleeve and I kind of thought, do you know, it's not a long sleeve and I love wearing a cardigan. Will the sleeve be a bit of a nuisance? But I have my, one of my Harper cardigans and when it goes on, it doesn't get all bunched up. It doesn't get all bunched up here. So yeah, a great make. Now this didn't take long to make at all because there's two seams down the back. There's the shoulder seams and there's the side seams. There's a little hem here and a hem on the bottom. And I made the size 38. And you know, it's just lovely, it just fits really nicely. If you wanted to make it a little bit more fitted, I was thinking about this, you could put like a little belt 
in at the back of it just to pull it in or just kind of pop them into the side seams and then you could pull it in a little bit but um yeah i really i like it and it's for woven fabrics but you could easily make it in a stretch fabric as well hi gina thanks for joining oh god it's great great to see you all coming in oh it's raining in new york as well i don't feel so bad it's been just raining all day here so yeah this is the arum dress from deer and doe and it took very little fabric very little time and if you shortened it up another little bit this is the full length of the pattern on me i didn't shorten it and i'm only five foot and i feel it's just about right so you could shorten it up and have it like as, as a tunic over leggings or i imagine if you're normal height <laughs> taller than me it would probably be like a tunic length anyway so and the waist ended up in the right place i didn't make any adjustments at all i just thought do you know what i'll just try it so yeah really happy with this now today so made something for Karis, made something for myself so it's, it's great all is all is good in sewing and this is the viscose twill the tulips one and it's nice and cozy and i am definitely going to make another few because this was just so quick and i sort of feel it's all about well for me it's about quick sewing now i just want to whip something up do you know i want to feel oh hi Haley. thanks for joining in you've been sewing up a storm this week <laughs> Um, I want to I want to feel slightly dressed up during the day. I mean, we're not leaving the house or anything, but I don't want anything too restricting and I don't want to go to too much bother sewing. So this was this was a lovely one. And I'm going to make another one or two. This is another viscose twill and it's got lovely autumn colors. So I think this will be nice. So this will be nice under a cardigan and it just whatever it is about the twill it just feels that little bit more cozy so i'm definitely going to put this one on my list to make one please say what the dress is what pattern oh okay it's the gina it's the deer and doe keris has linked it into the um chat. into the chat so this is it so yeah i think i'm going to make i'm going to make one out of this as well ah uh, really oh i just oh in a ponte oh cool okay yeah i think you could actually whip it up in anything and if you wanted to make it in like stretch fabric you could size down if you wanted it a little bit more fitted i even thought you could make it out of like sweatshirting french terry either um yeah really really simple and i got a lot of plain fabrics in this week so i got um i got some lovely corduroys here i got a few new well here i am telling you about plain ones and here i'm going to tell you about new sweatshirting hi geraldine thanks for joining us i got in these lovely cotton drills as well i'm going to show you those and i got a lot of new coating fabric so i have them over there so we are bursting at the seams with fabrics and we still have some more coming in as well so let me see what will i what will i show you first i think i'll show you these lovely corduroys actually um this lovely pink one i made the sew over at francine jacket last year actually i'm going to pop that on because <laughs> i have a few jackets and coats here just to give you a bit of inspiration as well so this is the hot pink version of the needle cord and i will admit it's a little bit tighter than it was last year <laughs> but this is the needle cord in the hot pink in the francine and it's a nice little fitted jacket so that's that's it um it's a lovely jacket to make um i think you would have to be You'd have to feel confident tackling this jacket, even though the instructions are really, really good. Um, it's beautifully drafted, fits really nicely. It's all lined as well. So your hand is really held, I have to say, in the instructions. But I made that last year out of this pink. I'm just going to grab the blue. So they're a, a cotton needle cord 
that's more like the color back here now they're lovely they photographed really nicely so what they are on the website actually is what they look like in reality they don't have any stretch are so yeah they are very thorough the um so over it instructions aren't they they're brilliant so we have this lovely teal i think it's called on the website is it Karis? Yep. yeah and we have a green So these would be great if you wanted to make, say, a shirt as well. They're not heavy, heavy. Um, the sew over it jacket is fully like interfaced inside. So, you know, that's what provides the structure. And yeah, no, no stretch, but they'd be lovely now for skirts, trousers. You could make a dress, you could make a shirt. They'd be lovely for children's clothes as well. And then this is, of course, my pink. That's the, the lovely pink. I think our lighting isn't great in here this evening. It feels a little bit dark. I think I'll move one of the lights a little bit in. Hmm, see. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, so that's the pink. And then I got Keris's favorite color, which is wine. Again, they'd be lovely for pinafers, wouldn't they, as well? So I've got... Um, I have a good few patterns coming in this week as well. I have Tilly and the Buttons coming in and I've actually been, I've just ordered the Nina Lee patterns as well, which was great because I know a lot of people enjoyed my sew along to the Nina Lee Camden skirt during the week. So I have Camden skirt patterns ordered. I was sure I had them ordered and I wondered why did I not get any email back from them? But I checked my emails and no, I hadn't. I do a lot of things in my head <laughs> and I don't do them in reality. So... They're the colours we have in those. And I must say, I enjoyed using it last year for the jacket. It was really easy to use. So I also got some other ones over here. So these are stretch corduroys. I love the colour of these. So of course we had to get the ochre colour. So there's actually quite good stretch in this. The wine colour color is lovely, Anna. Oh, it'd be beautiful in Landers. It really would. Yeah, absolutely. So this is, yeah, this is a lovely one as well. Nice stretch in this. And they're actually really light. Like the, they, it's very easy to lift up the card work for the, I don't know what the stacker jacket is. Geraldine, I'm not familiar with that one. And we have a lovely navy. So again, Nice stretch in them. I really like these, actually. I'm going to have to try some of these out. I'm dying for a couple of Camden skirts in cord. And I think this last colour is going to be really good. So nice, like, terracotta, rust. I think this one would fit nicely into my wardrobe now with a lot of my tops as well. So, And I do love a bit of stretch. So there are three stretch cords. And then we have the four non-stretch cords. And I think these ones are really well priced, aren't they, Karis? Those stretch cords, I just saw it. What are they? Yeah, they're just 10 euro a metre, which I think is, is really, really good. So, yeah, it was a bit strange getting plain fabrics in during the week because every delivery we get in is like full of patterns. So, yeah, we got loads and loads of planes. I'm also going to show you one or two of these as well. So these are a cotton drill fabric. And these are an ex-designer fabric. So they're from Italy and they feel quite structured. And they have, I have four different colors. So I have, um, what are the landers? The landers are the True Bias Landers pants, um, Sandra. I will stick links into the description box below of anything we talk about so that you can find them because Karis probably wouldn't be able to find things like that that we don't have in stock. I've already linked in a few patterns about coats that I'm going to talk about. So This is a cotton polyester and elastane mix. So again, it's got really nice stretch. It's about 200 grams um, square meter, I feel, and it feels really nice quality. There's 
like a twill weave to it so it does feel quite hard wearing. I think the, is it the Closet Core Ilford jacket? I'm, I'm, I'm good to, to remember the names but not, not always great to actually remember the designer so I instantly thought you know that these would make a lovely pair of you could make like a jeans type trousers with them or a nice um, like a jeans type jacket so I thought the Ilford jacket would be lovely so or a pinafore a nice skirt of course my favorite the Camden skirt and of course I do forget that the Camden skirt is also a Camden pinafore isn't it um, so I may make the Camden pinafore ultimate trousers would be good yeah they would actually because there's such a lovely stretch in this fabric you'd know that it was designer quality it just you know you can you can feel it in it um, so it's here in the blue as well this is the blue I think these photographed pretty well as well so it's kind of a indigo-ish blue it's a really lovely fabric and then I have it in red this is lovely I think I, I think I'm gonna to have to make Camden skirt in this so they all have a really nice stretch in them which is great I think anything with a bit of stretch is good and we have the black one so the black is like again charcoal more dark gray than you know black black and yeah, good stretch. So these literally only arrived in on Friday, I think it was. So I also got a few ponties in as well. So I got the purple ponty. So that purple ponty is the ponty I used for the... Um, oh great, we're getting loads of suggestions here. That's brilliant. Um, that purple ponty is the one that I used in my sew along for the Estelle jacket. So I've linked that into the comments as well. I'll show you that. So I think I'd call this like a Cadbury's purple. So this is this is really nice. And I do have other ponties coming in during the week as well. I have the lovely red and I have, I think, black and navy and grey and I have the teal colour coming as well. So I had thought I would have them by now. Um, and they're ordered about three weeks. I rang the company during the week to see where they were. And I think, reading between the lines, they forgot to send them. So, yeah, um, I think they left on Thursday, so we'll have them tomorrow. So, which is probably not bad either, because we did get a lot of deliveries this week. So that's the purple. And we have some of the teal left as well. And I got another lovely ponty as well during the week. You were all mad about the Splendour one last week, with the one with all the lovely leaves and everything in it. And that just... That was gone by Monday <laughs> and I went back to the suppliers to see if I could get some more but they're all sold out and I'm not surprised so I know I got great feedback about that anybody who bought it messaged and said it was amazing and it really was so I got another one during the week and I have it here so it's not a patterned one like the leafy one but it's the same kind of quality it's got an all-over print I think again it photographed fairly well on the website that's the one yeah and it's got like little yeah little dashes of colors in it and it's again this is a good and stretchy so this would this would make loads and loads of things as well this would be great as well I think for ultimate trousers as well do you know if you wanted a nice pair of stretchy trousers it would make a lovely dress, it would make cardigans, coatigans. Yeah, I think these navy, or it's black, Geraldine. Yeah, black. And it's got all those lovely, lovely colours on it. So that's, I think that's a really nice one as well. I'm trying to tidy as I go this evening. <laughs> and another really nice one that we got actually during the week. This is a sweatshirting, a plain sweatshirting, which I couldn't photograph. And I'm gonna make Karis a sweater dress. I've loads of plans, loads of plans. I'm gonna make Karis a sweater dress out of this. So it's that lovely pale pink that we're, we're mad about. It's pinkier now than it's coming up there. There, that's actually the color of it. And through it is like a little sparkle. Now, 
you wouldn't be shouting sparkle but when you go up close to it it's in it so it's got a little lurex thread in it i don't know if you can see it there but it's really really nice this is gorgeous i know we've made a few sales of this already on the website and it's fluffy on the inside and nicely nicely stretched nicely stretched in both ways S um, silver i think you'd yeah more silvery than goldy sparkle yeah, it's quite faint, but it's there. It's gorgeous. Hi, Teresa. You're welcome. Um, so, Keris is linking all of these into the comments anyway. So, if you're only tuning in, you can go back through the comments to see what we've shown anyway. So, yeah, I really, really like this one. So, and we got a real quirky one as well. I've just a few put down here. The, oh yeah, make a gorgeous Southbank dress and I've ordered the Southbank pattern from Nina Lee as well during the week so we'll have that. I'm dying to try that out because you were all telling me how really nice it is. So we got this really cute uh, viscose jersey and it's got lampshades all over it. It's just so cute and it's a nice weight so it would make lots and lots of nice tops. Um, it would be lovely for this dress, actually. That, that would be really nice. Great stretch to it as well. And again, it's another ex-designer fabric. So I'm not great for actually spotting. Maybe somebody might spot what ex-designer it comes from. I don't know. I just like a real quirky print. And who wouldn't like lampshades all over their top? <laughs> I think that's lovely. And let me see, what else did we get as well? That's a really nice one. Oh yeah, we got, actually I'm going to take them out. Oh, so that's the one I showed you for the new top. Have we questioned Karis or something? No? Oh no, she's looking at me. These are ones I meant to show you last week, but I wasn't able to. And these I put up on the website and I thought it would be easier to show you kind of what they're like in terms of scale. So they've got a very small little scale on them. So there's lovely kind of autumnal colors on this on a navy background and then the other one i just think these are lovely these make lovely blouses or little dresses little skirts they'd also make lovely lining for coats this one has a black background oh. and little little touches of red on it actually that would be really lovely as a lining for a coat so yeah they're ones i meant to show last week and this one now I thought was really, really nice. So this is, it's a polyester. And it's got really lovely colours on it. I think this is very, very pretty colours. And again, it's got a nice bit of stretch in it as well. So when I saw this, I thought of something like the um, Clara blouse from Sew Over, the one with the nice gathers here. So something nice and swishy. Again, this dress <laughs> would be lovely. It would make loads of things. Or again, it would make a beautiful lining for inside a coat. It'd be lovely inside like a rust coat or an ochre coat. It'd be just gorgeous. And this lovely crepe. I think this is really, really nice. This is a gorgeous, I think this is called Midnight something or other cares. So it's got a black background. It's got lovely like bottle green leaves, little touches of red and a couple of pinks. And I think this is a very pretty. I was actually very tempted to take this one and make this dress out of it this morning. You can see this is my new obsession, this dress. <laughs> when you can cut out and whip up a dress so quickly, you know, it becomes your next, next obsession. So that's that one. I think that's very, very pretty. Lovely colours. Nice and automate with a, a hint of pink. And I think I call this one Floral Leopard. Now this is really, really nice. There's been a few sales of this on the website already. It's got quite a big print. So it's got a leopard print, obviously, and it's got these brilliant large scale flowers. And a beautiful drape. Again, this is X designer, so you know you can you feel the quality in this. So there's beautiful reds, purples, 
It would be lovely actually with the purple ponte. Have you got a good question, Karis? No? Uh, what dress are you wearing? I am wearing the Deer and Doe Asta dress. Arum. Arum. Arum dress. Thanks, Karis. <laughs> I know there's a wardrobe by me dress that is I know Jennifer when they all come out come in uh, we're just you know there's just too much to look at so um yeah I think this one would be lovely in a dress or a top or it's lovely and drapey and gorgeous with red and that purple ponte actually it's just really nice and um, nice bit of weight to it as well so I think I think they're they are the patterned fabrics that we got in during the week. We got a few new sweatshirting actually, they're very pretty. So we got, we got the red or wine version of that lovely cherry blossom. And then we got these lovely butterfly ones. These are really pretty. So we had these ordered with all the other sweatshirting, but they only came in during the week. So this is a French terry, so it's got the loop back on it. And it's got these lovely butterflies all over it. Really, really pretty. So um, be gorgeous for children's clothing. I know somebody last week was looking for something for a little girl. So um, there's a lovely pink version as well. So I think this is really lovely. Make a lovely sweater dress for a little girl as well. Of course, I would love it. Karis would love it. I am. Um, I love things like that, pretty, pretty colours. And here's the, here's the pink version. So really, yes, yeah, she's doing a great job, isn't she? <laughs> the IT department, she's brilliant, thank you. So that's the pale pink background, it's so pretty. So the colours are coming up lovely there. And I'll show you the other one as well. And then this is the wine burgundy version of the cherry blossom. I love this one. And it's got the furriness on the back of it. So they're just three new sweatshirting ones we got during the week. And I'm gonna pop these trouser ones back up. So it's definitely coat season. So I went a little bit mental making, I yeah, I love French terry as well, they're really, really nice. I went a little bit mad making coats last year. So I'm going to show you a few of the coats I made and I'm going to show you some of the coating fabric. So on the front of the website, there's a tab called fabrics and when you click on it, then you see all the other, all the groups of fabrics and I set up one called coating. So if you click on that, you'll see all the new coatings and everything. I try to put everything into sections so that you can find them kind of easily. You know, I try to think of myself as the um, person looking for something. So I try to make it as easy as possible. So I'm gonna move the camera around just to show you all the different coatings that we got in. Karis, I have no idea of time or anything this evening. Oh, God, that's half an hour gone already. It doesn't half fly, does it? Um, I'm very congested at the moment. So even though it's flipping autumn, I've still got hay fever. So it's not that I'm overexerting. I'm just a bit breathless at the minute. So I watched back last week's video and it just looked like I was very unfit, but it's not. <laughs> I'm just very breathless with breathing. But anyway, so we got all these lovely coatings in during the week and these ones down here on the end I used last year and I found them so comfortable so the one up the top if you follow me on Instagram I have a coat up recently that I made last year and it's this coat so I know a lo load of people made this last year Haley, you made this didn't you last year I think in a grey as well so this is a butterick pattern I'm going to move my light. I feel like it's right on top of me. Oh, now I think it's even worse. It's 
worst thing about this time of the year, isn't it? The lighting is shocking. So this is a butterick pattern. And this is made out of that pink one there at the top. And I found this, yeah, oh yeah, you made it, didn't you? Yes. Um, you made it, oh, in February, okay, yes. I got loads of wear out of this. Now, I didn't line it because I thought the fabric was really soft and it is lovely and soft inside and I thought I want to have this really kind of cosy in, inside. But I do find that I, when I wear, say, a top, it gets stuck to the sleeves. So I'm a bit, you know, anyway, you learn, don't you? You learn as you go on. So this is really nice pockets. I think I made it about eight inches shorter than the pattern because I am short. I'm going to grab the pattern. Have you a question, Claire? Have you? No? So this is the pattern. It is Butterick 6385 and I made the pink version there, of course. And I got loads and loads of wear out of this. So that's that one. Would that pink coating be suitable for the sew over it cocoon coat? Oh, it would be lovely in the cocoon coat, actually. There's, it's a polyester viscose mix, and there's there's a bit of elastane in it, but there's no actual, there's no stretch in it at all. Now, the red one down the bottom, we have already earmarked that for the new sew over it um, first time. Oh yeah, I'm going to give you a few ideas now for coats actually, for first time coat makers. Um, we're going to make the red one into the new Sew Over It 1960s coat. Um, because the minute we saw that red come in, Kara said, oh, I'd love a red coat. And I think the following day then, um, we saw the lovely 1960s coat. So we have a plan. We've bought the pattern, we've sent it to the printers, and yeah, we'll be good to go. So I had an idea of, you know, if you want to make a coat, but um, you're a little bit nervous to get started, I think a coatigan is a great place to start. So I've already linked into the description box the Thrifty Stitcher Dawson Coatigan, because I made it last year and I made it out of one of those fabrics. It's in a different colour. I wasn't able to actually get the colour. So I might turn the camera around because I think the lighting was a bit better this way. Have to turn the light again. Oh, possibly, yeah. God, lighting is a pain, isn't it? Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> I think with all the rain today. So this is the Dawson Coatigan, and this is such a lovely make. So I've linked this into the description box because I don't have the pattern. And it is an unlined coat. I'll stand back now to show you. It's got lovely details on it. So it's got these lovely top stitched darts at the cuff and they're here on the front and they're on the back as well. It's really, really nice. I'll stand up here on my little stool. So it's got nice pockets. It actually feels like the sew so over it heather dress. The pockets are put in in the same kind of way and they're stitched into the sides. The original pattern is a little bit more cocoony, but I felt being so short, it just didn't really suit me, so I tapered down the sides of it. And it's what my granny used to call an edge-to-edge -edge jacket. <laughs> so it's really comfortable to wear, and the neck is really, really nice. It just sort of gives you a hug. It's, it's lovely. And I know that when I made this, um, I think I cut out the size 10, possibly. I'll have to look that up. But it just it just all came together really nicely. You know where you notch everything and they all just fit together and everything just comes together so nicely. So I think this would be a super one if you wanted to kind of, you know, hop slowly into coat making. Now, definitely the Butterick coat I felt was a nice make as well. I had to narrow in the shoulders a lot on it, though. I remember it being really, really wide and it's slightly restrictive around the, sh around the sleeve, so I would have to do a bit of rejigging. But I reckon if you went to try some of the sew over it coats, you know, I always find when you get one of the sew over it patterns, they just seem to all come together so beautifully as well. So, and the instructions are like so much better than say buying a butterick or one of the big four patterns. 
but yeah this it, like if you try this um coat again this is really really good so i really liked this and it was another sort of fairly quick make it's not lined inside um i put some bias binding just around where the facing is and i put a little tag in and yeah this was this is lovely and i i wore it a lot so this would be a lovely one now for this for the school run the crash run you'd be you know you could chuck it on over anything and i also made another coat again i suppose you'd call it i made this about a year and a half ago i think i wouldn't say the book or si no i no it's, oh you had the same fit issues Haley. oh that's interesting isn't it but i i do think if you go to the indie patterns uh, they'll just come together a bit better i have a few indie patterns to show you i just thought i'd show you this one this was like a boucle fabric i picked up goodness knows where i made this about a year and a half ago and where is the pattern oh yeah so it's this simplicity pattern. So I just liked the look of this, just a long cardi. Actually, it's quite nice over this dress with the red. And that's it, it's just like edge to edge, so it's lovely, pop on over something, stick a cardigan or a scarf, scarf. It had pockets. I took the pockets out because they were just far too bulky on me. So this is another nice one as well. And I think this would be lovely. Yeah, it's a really nice one, Geraldine, isn't it? And it comes together really, really nicely as well. I've got a lovely boucle here I'm going to show you, actually, that popped in during the week as well. So it's a rust colour with black and... It's got like a little lurex in it as well. So not overly sparkly, but it's just in it. And I think that would be lovely, say, in this kind of a coat again as well. It would be lovely in the um, Thrifty Stitcher, in the Dawson one as well. And any of those other four that I sh showed you, like the pink one there, any of those would be lovely in the um, Dawson coat again as well. So yeah, I think this rust one with the little lurex is, is really, really nice. It just looks so nice and snugly. And I think it would be easy enough to work with as well. So that's that one. It's like a big bale of fabric. Now, sorry, I keep hopping out of Oh, hi, Tess. How are you? Oh, I need to bring the dog for a walk. I was dying to bring the dog for a walk today, but it just rained so much. And I'm, I'm a fair weather walker. So this is a boiled wool that we got in as well. Um, there was loads of other colours. This Just this one was my favourite. So I think it's like, it's called a dusty pink. And it's 100% wool. And I'm going to show you a few ideas for this because... I bought some boiled wool last year and I found it just so easy to use. So it's lovely, really lovely. Little fluffy bits on it. So that's the, yeah, this is 100% wool. I know, yeah, <laughs> good muscles, all right. Actually, I, I suffer with like a tendonitis in my shoulder and I it was really sore during the week and I think half of it was actually lifting up fabrics and things so yeah this is a boiled wool Whoa. that noise was me dropping uh, fabrics so yeah boiled wool goes through the process of being boiled basically so when you cut it pre-wash or dry clean boiled wool now i know somebody asked that question already i don't actually i don't pre-wash the coating fabrics um, because there's something that don't need washing terribly often anyway. So if somebody has any better um, advice to give about coating, will you pop it into the comments? Because it's just not something that I know a huge amount about. But I know that any time I've ever made a coat, I haven't pre-washed the fabrics. So I'm going to show you, it's called the Tazuti Sydney Jacket steam wool fabrics oh brilliant okay 
Oh cool, is that to like... Oh super, oh brilliant. That's what I like about these lives. I, I learn so much on them. So, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you something that I actually don't know the answer to. I'd rather that you share it in the comments, which is brilliant. So I'm going to, oh yeah, somebody might answer Geraldine there. How, how long do you steam it or what is the process for it? I made the cardigan from the coat. Ah, cool. Yes, brilliant. So this is the Tazuti hovered the iron over the fabric. Okay, so I suppose you lay out your fabric before you cut it and hover over it to steam it. Brilliant, okay. This is, and I know you're gonna ask me where I got this from. So I got this in Quilt Yarn Stitch, which is a lovely shop close to me. And I'm sure they still have some of this. So it's a double sided wool. <laughs> so. This is essentially a reversible jacket. Now you kind of need long sleeves. It sort of lose the, loses the effect unless you've li like long sleeves. But again, it's kind of like a cardigan as well. So it's the Tazuti Sydney and it's got a waterfall front to it. It's a bit of a faff. Oh, that actually looks quite good. So to get it kind of even, and it's so cosy and because it's boiled wool, I tend to kind of wear it like that. So it, I get a big hug <laughs> and I made this. This was actually great fun to make um, because you basically overlap the seams and sew on top and there's no hems around the edges. So that's all you have to do on the boiled wool is basically cut it in a nice straight line. That's all. And if you do, if you go off a little bit, you just go back and trim it. So I can actually wear this both ways. This is really cool. So um, I didn't get a lot of wear out of this one last year because I was kind of more in a muted color palette, but I really fancy the colors of this, but I think it'll match my wardrobe a little bit better this year. I tend to have gone for these colors. So that's it, it that's it. And the other way around, and it's so warm, <laughs> it is actually so warm. And it's kind of like a three quarter length sleeve, which you would think was a bit, be a bit crazy, but it's actually just so warm, you wouldn't particularly need the full length sleeve. So again, this is one of those satisfying makes, I'd call it, you know, you cut it out and it's made in no length. And this was made out of, um, I think maybe a meter and a half of fabric. So the boiled wools can be expensive, but this is just such, uh, this would be very inexpensive to make with say a metre and a half. And again, as I say, great fun to make. So there are the coats that I have made. I have made one other one I'm going to show you. This is the Style Arc Estelle, yes. So I made a Ponte Estelle out of that purple there. And I did a sew along with it as well. And I just, I bought another double-sided boiled wool and I made a boiled wool version. That's the hanger. Now, what I should have done on this really was I should have sized up because of course the fabric is so bulky. But again, you know on the freezing cold days and you just want a nice hug of a coat, this is so cozy. And again, it's got, I went mad on like these waterfall fronts last year. <laughs> so again, a little bit of a faff to put together. This one isn't reversible because it's sewn together in a different way. So it's got, it's got inside seams so you couldn't turn it the other way out. But the way this one is done, the seams are overlapped and it's sewn on top. So once you get the hang of doing that overlapped seam, it's probably got some sort of a technical word, I don't know, or technical description, but it's, it's really super and really good instructions on how to do it. So that's really cool. Um, again, it does come with pockets, but I left the pockets out. I don't, I, I don't know why I left the pockets out. Oh, I know why I left the pockets out, because I wanted to have it reversible. And if I, then I could only have pockets from one side. So yeah, there's always some sort of reason to my madness. Tezuti, yeah, Tezuti Sydney. That's what that one is. I have the link of it in the description box. 
So that's the boiled wool and the boucles and then we have the four coating fabrics and we also have, I got a lovely plum coloured pure wool, it's like a little tweedy one. Can you show the, yeah, uh, the simplicity. This is it, it's 8265, so that's it. And it's got, it's got a nice little detail that kind of goes a bit lost on this boucle. It's got a nice um, facing to the inside. And then just up at the neck, there is a dart. So if you had a plain fabric, of course, you'd see that better. So that was nice. And the sleeves went in really nicely as well. I remember at the time they just whipped in because I hadn't been back sewing for myself a lot. Um, I hadn't been doing an awful lot at the time. So um, yeah, those sleeves just went in so nicely. Um, I've got a few patterns actually. So, oh, I'm going to show you the um, the other pure wool first. Sorry, I got sidetracked. So I got this lovely plum and tweedy. So that's really nice. If you hear a little bit of scratching, it's the dog. He wants to join us again. So this is this is a really lovely um, tweedy. So this would make a beautiful blazer. It would make a gorgeous coat. It would just be absolutely lovely. So that's that's that, and it's X designer as well. So again, oh, really, really beautiful. I'd love to make a little. I'd actually love to make the um, Francine out of it. I think I probably would size up in the next one. Yeah, because I really like the fit of that one. So that would make a lovely little, imagine that now with a little top and a pair of jeans or a denim skirt. Be lovely. And then I got another really gorgeous fabric. This I love. So <laughs> this is an X designer one as well. And it just, it just shouts Coco Chanel to me. I think it's just so pretty. And the first thing I thought of when I saw this was, I thought it would be absolutely gorgeous in this kind of coat again. Just something lovely and, you know, streamlined, lovely and straight, no nonsense. It's got a little, we went mad in Lurex this time. There's a little Lurex in it. I think you can slightly see it shimmering. I need to, oh, patterns and order. Oh, I saw your lovely order, yes. <laughs> This is um, just gorgeous, lovely shades of pink in it. I think, isn't that just gorgeous, isn't it? I think that's really, really nice. So it's woven and um, so it's a really beautiful fabric. It's just, it's a Coco Chanel little jacket, isn't it? Um, so this so over it, Coco jacket would just be lovely, nice and boxy. Uh, the plum is that, no, it's 100% wool, I think. Isn't it, Karis? The, I think it says it on the tag. I'll just double check. Yeah, the plum is 100% wool. I just spotted that question coming up. This one? That one. Yeah, it's 100%, isn't it? Does it say 100? Oh, that's my mistake. I'll have to go back and change that. It is 100% wool, actually, yeah. I must have copied in another product, so I will change that. <laughs> so this is the other coating we got in as well. I know I showed this very quickly a couple of weeks ago, um, and it's another really cool one. So it fe it looks like a felted, actually it's called felted flowers. So when you see it up close, you can actually see the little flowers in it. So it's really cute. And I think, again, that would make, that'd be gorgeous now in the Dawson coat again as well or that other simplicity pattern as well. And the other thing I thought would be really nice as well is I've spotted the sew over it cape. And I thought that would be really nice as well. And when I was looking for patterns for something else a few days ago, I found a load of cape patterns. So, you know, as you do, I used to buy a lot of patterns when I'd see them on sale, say in, in our local hickeys or that. So. Sometimes I go and randomly find patterns and I don't even remember buying them. So I found a few capes and I just thought they'd be really lovely in some of these. Um, now God knows, maybe these patterns are out of print, but 
I thought this looked really nice. I think it's got a skirt to match too. Isn't that just gorgeous? So really, really handy to kind of chuck on over things. And here's another one as well. So I was going to buy the sew over it cape pattern, but I think this one is actually quite similar. So I think they'd be, they'd be really nice to make as well. And the other coat that I really like at the minute as well is the Deer and Doe Opium Coat. And I think this looks really, really nice. And I haven't actually looked at this one, but on knowing the Deer and Doe instructions, if you were like a confident beginner wanting to make a coat, your hand is held so well with the deer and doe patterns. So this is one that I got in during the week and I'm going to investigate it because I love the little pocket details on it. I think it looks really, really interesting. I'm very tempted to make it for myself. It looks quite swingy and I'm going to look up some of the hashtags to see, you know, what it actually looks like. So has anybody actually tried that one? I think it looks lovely. I've had great success with any of my deer and doe patterns. So this is the, what's it called, Karis? The Aram dress. And I've made the Scirocco, the jumpsuit and the myosotis, and they just come together so beautifully. So I can't imagine that this one wouldn't come together beautifully as well. So it's got the belted and the non-belted non version. And then I have, again, I love the Avid Seamstress patterns. So I think this looks super as well. So this has a great, um, line to it as well nice and simple i've looked through the instructions and the collar seems to be quite easy to put together it's not a two-part collar which is a bit daunting so that would definitely be one to you know look into and a nice kind of straight boxy and again the avid seamstress patterns are so well drafted as well and so well explained I love the fact that when you buy these, they're nice and bulky, so you know you're getting loads of information in these. And then I also have two lovely jacket patterns. So I have the Closet Core Jessica jacket. So I think that's quite similar to the Sew so Over It one, possibly a little bit longer as well. So that would be, wouldn't that be just gorgeous out of that pure wool, the, um, the plummy coloured fabric. And again, I have the new Avid Seamstress the blazer so that looks really really nice as well what would you like me to do the sew along to Kerry so that would be that would be a really nice jacket as well I do fancy a couple of nice jackets as well this one has the lovely detail of the pocket so there's a seam around the jacket there so that that would make putting in the pocket really easy as well and again loads and loads of instructions with that jacket as well and what else have I got at all? I think that's it in terms of jackets and coats and capes. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to make Keras the so over it 60s coat. That's a given. Yeah, I th yeah, Rebecca, I think I will. I will do the sew along. So I'm really looking forward to getting that pattern back from the printers as well. It looks really nice and I'm never a fan myself of like a double breasted coat, but it doesn't look very double breasted, does it? It looks, you know, I had a look at that. It doesn't look like it's terribly, terribly overlapped because sometimes they can just be too bulky, can't they? So I think, yeah, and I think the red would be lovely. So we're toying between the idea of doing red buttons or black buttons. She has a memory of having a red coat with black buttons, but I think it's just a memory. I don't think it ever happened. So we're, we're really looking forward to making that coat. And I feel, I love my, um, what is it? My Butterick, my pink coat. And I fancy making another coat for myself as well. Yeah, I might actually make myself the opium coat, Kerry. I do really like the look of that. I remember having a swing, like a swing coat when I was a youngster and I loved my swing coat. I don't think I'd like it with the belt in the middle. Sometimes I'd, I can just look like a sack of spuds when I put a when I put a belt around the middle. So I do fancy the idea of like a nice um, swingy coat. I wonder how would the swingy coat look in that lovely like Chanel fabric? Would it be nice in that? I think that'd be very pretty, baby, would it? What do you think? 
so the opium coat may be in that. It's got nice kind of, it's not heavy heavy, so I think it would have a nice, a nice kind of a drape to it. So I think that would be, I think that would be nice. Let me see, have I showed, before you finish, could I see the pink sparkly? Oh yeah, you can of course, yeah. Pink sparkly sweatshirting, that is the dog now. Scrappy? His name is Scrappy. He doesn't listen. <laughs> He's okay. He does this because he wants to be part of what's going on. Karis, will you go out and just give him a bit of encouragement to stop? This is the pink sparkly. I think back here, yeah, that's that's the colour of it, I think. When I bring it up to the camera, it sort of washes it out a little bit. Some colours are so difficult to photograph. But, speaking of photographing, um, the cha channel is the... Yes, it is an open weave, yeah. I'll actually bring it up to the phone now so you can see it better. Yeah, the great news is that my new camera is arriving tomorrow. <laughs> I'm actually so excited about this. Um, I just cannot wait. So I have loads and loads of sew alongs that, um, yeah, yeah, Sandra, it does. It's, 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 it's beautiful. I had to do a lot of filtering to get the photograph to even look right. Yeah, I'm actually looking at it there. It looks a bit of a mucky color, doesn't it? No, it's, it's really nice actually. Um, so it didn't matter what kind of lighting I put it into, what sort of filtering, I could not get the, the, the color to come out. So hopefully with the camera now, I'll have, I'll have better luck. So that's that one. Um, yeah, here's the here's the Chanel one. We'll bring it up to the. W would it be great? Yeah, I think it'd be really cool. Um, that's what that's what it looks like there now. So yeah, it looks like I. D did you ever have a, one of those weaving kits as a child? I had one of those. I used to love it. That's what I used to get for Christmas, actually. It was all like craft things and <laughs> leather making, cross stitch, weaving, the looms. So that's that one there. I think this is just gorgeous. So yeah, I think maybe an opium coat. That'd be really cool. So yeah, we've loads of sew alongs planned. I've loads of sew alongs planned in my head. And once I get sorted with my camera, um, it'll be, yeah, I can't wait. I'm spotting all the messages coming in. So has anybody got any questions before we go? I've got all of those coats that I showed. Lion the, would you have to lion? Um, yeah, I think you would really, Aoife, yeah. I think you would have to give it a little lining. I think it would actually feel better as well, putting your arms into it. Um, my lovely pink one last year was so cozy and everything, but it was a devil to get my arms into when I was wearing like a light jumper or anything. So yeah, I think, this with just like a, a nice little um, like a satiny lining would be so lovely be really nice I think we're getting a few are we getting a couple of spammy messages coming in there gosh um so yeah so that's this week's um is lurex yeah it is usually like a silvery color Leisha yeah it is yeah it's timed out by okay Oh, we've had somebody spamming in, I think. So remind me of the pattern for your earlier pink jacket. Yeah, I will. It's this butterick. I will link it into the comments. I had a question. Oh, sorry, Anna, what is it? Oh, the floral cord. It, when it's going to come back in, Anna, is it? Yeah, all our, our delivery of all our cords, I'm hoping are going to land tomorrow. So they should have been in during the week but I'm figuring that they actually forgot to ship them. So yeah, we're gonna get them all in during the week. So yes, yeah. So we have the lovely leopard, the teal leopard. Um, oh, lovely, Sandra, you're, you're gonna really like it. Um, we're gonna get all the lovely no to the short pink jacket. Okay. Um, we're going to get all the lovely cords in during the week and loads of other things as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed our video this week. Um, I hope it's given you a bit of inspiration to start a bit of coat making. We definitely have our coat making plans now. I was between ideas for my own coat, but now I'm definitely, um, I keep missing out on the black colorway. Um, I don't know which one that is. Oh, I know the one, Anna. Yes, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've, I've ordered a double roll of that. So if you message me, I will keep it in mind for you. Anyway, I can, I can hold some of it for you. 
Have we a question, Karis, that I've missed? The, um, the short, bright pink jacket. I think that's your needle cord. Yeah? You know, the oh, you want to see it, is it? No? The one about the pattern. Yeah? You know, um, oh, sorry. Asked for the... I don't actually, I don't have a pattern here for that. It's actually the, oh, thanks, Geraldine. Um, the pink jacket is the Sew Over It Francine jacket. So it's their lovely little blazer. That's what that is. I'll again, I will link it into the description box of the video when it goes up online. So thanks very much to everybody for watching and tuning in. And we'll be back next Sunday with another video. If there's anything that you want us to link into anywhere, just uh, put it into the comments after the video actually loads up. So yeah, thanks a million. Bye.